Hi, this is Jacob L. Thanks for watching. This is the second video in the Sci-Fi series, and in this video I'm going to share with you my design for a lightsaber to celebrate the new Star Wars movie that's coming out soon. The concept of this design is to use a solid, retractable blade wrapped in a plasma vortex. There is a tungsten or graphite electrode at the tip of the retractable blade and a ring-shaped electrode in the handle at the base of the blade. When the blade is extended to the open position, the two electrodes pass very close to each other as the tip is just coming out of the handle. At the same time, the high voltage power supply is activated and an electric arc is ignited between the two electrodes. The copper coil inside the solid blade is also powered on and creates a magnetic field. The magnetic field from the coil and from the electric plasma arc interacts to form a type of homopolar motor where the plasma arc is the rotor. The electric arc is filling the same role as the copper wire in this homopolar motor demonstrated on another YouTube channel. Since the plasma arc has such a low mass, it can accelerate almost instantly to a very high RPM, forming a vortex skin of plasma over the blade. The higher the current, the hotter and brighter the plasma will be. Higher voltage will allow the arc to be stretched out longer and make it harder to extinguish and more reliable. As the blade continues to extend, the plasma arc is stretched longer. As long as the voltage is high enough, the arc can be stretched very long without cutting off. This is a cross-section view of the lightsaber. The first versions would have power cables leading to a backpack power supply. The handle is hollow and can accept the retractable blade, and the inside is electrically insulative. The outside of the handle can be sturdy metal, like aluminum. The blade is based around a steel pipe at the core for strength. The copper coil is wound over the steel pipe, creating a long electromagnet. There can be a layer of fiberglass both under and over the coil to protect it. The outside layer of the blade needs to be an impact tolerant and heat resistant electrical insulator. A twisted rope made of fiberglass cloth wrapped tightly around and around the whole length of the blade might do well because it would not crack from impact like a solid ceramic shell might and it could handle a lot of heat depending on the type of glass. Alumina, which is aluminum oxide, might be a good choice for a solid ceramic outer shell. Instead of a metal electrode at the tip of the blade, there could also be a hole in the ceramic shell that a compressed air plasma cutter sprays through to replace a sharp metal tip with a jet of plasma. The plasma cutter tip would need to be powered on for a second when the blade is extending so the plasma jet could act as the tip electrode. Once the blade is running, the plasma cutter could be off most of the time except when stabbing or slashing. The blade could be multiple nested segments to let the handle be shorter. It's important to keep it sturdy though. That explains my version of how a real lightsaber could be made. Please share your thoughts on this or any science or philosophy topic in the comments.